Welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam special update for October 2022. On October 5th, the California State Colorado River Board, along with several other water districts, announced a proposal to conserve an additional 400,000 acre feet of water in Lake Mead each year for the next three years. As we've seen before, these press releases sound great at first glance, and they achieve their goal of generating positive headlines. However, I think we should take a deeper look into what California is offering before we celebrate. But first, let's take a quick look at Lake Mead's water statistics. If you have a moment, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your support. The current water level at Lake Mead Reservoir is 1,045 feet 6 inches above mean sea level. That's 174 feet below full pool. So far this year, the reservoir has dropped 21 feet. The current elevation is 111 feet 9 inches below the 1,157 foot average for this date. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983, at 1,225 feet. A new record low was set a few weeks ago on July 28, when the water level dropped to 1,040 feet 7 inches. When we look at previous year's elevations for this same date, we see that Lake Mead Reservoir is 22 feet below the water level at this same time last year. When compared to 2020, the reservoir is currently 37 and a half feet lower. The water level is 30 feet below the elevation on the same date in 2016, when the reservoir was also at historic lows. The current capacity of the Lake Mead Reservoir is 7,362,000 acre feet which is only 26% of the full pool capacity. The average capacity for this date is 18.5 million acre-feet. A new record low for America's largest reservoir was set last month when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 square feet. Full capacity is 28.2 million acre-feet. At the start of the 2022 water year, which began on October 1, 2021, the Lake Mead Reservoir was at 1,067.68 feet. It reached its peak for the water year on October 17 at 1,068 feet. Water levels then declined to 1,064.91 feet on December 2, before winter precipitation started to raise water levels. Early winter storms managed to increase the reservoir to a peak of 1,067.26 feet on January 25, before starting to decline again. On July 28, Lake Mead's water levels were at 1,040.58 feet, the lowest they'd been since the 1930s, not long after the lake was first created. In early August, monsoon rains and increased outflows from Lake Powell managed to raise Lake Mead by 4 feet. Today, the lake's elevation is 1,045 feet 6 inches above mean sea level. Although the water level has risen in the past few weeks, it is expected to decline through the end of November. The reservoirs along the Colorado River are all suffering from low water levels. After decades of drought and overuse, even the largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, have water levels that are sitting near record lows. This dire situation prompted the Bureau of Reclamation to demand the lower basin states, or Arizona, Nevada, and California, to find a way to cut between 2 and 4 million acre-feet of water per year, starting in 2023. The Bureau set a deadline of mid-August, but that deadline passed without the states coming to an agreement. Last week, California announced a proposal to conserve 400,000 acre-feet of water per year for the next three years. The proposal comes from the four water management districts that use Colorado River water, the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, the Coachella Valley Water District, the Palo Verde Irrigation District, and the largest consumer, the Imperial Irrigation District. This proposal is a big step in the right direction, but it falls far short of what is needed to save our reservoirs. With a 27% allocation, the state of California is the largest user of Colorado River water. That 27% translates to 4.4 million acre-feet of water that is allocated to California every year. The Colorado River is divided into the upper basin and lower basin, with each receiving 7.5 million acre-feet of water annually, while Mexico receives 1.5 million acre-feet. Of the lower basin's 7.5 million acre-feet, California receives 58%. California's proposal of conserving 400,000 acre-feet is simply not enough. That amount needs to be tripled at least, if the goal is for the lower basin states to conserve 2 to 4 million acre-feet annually. California would need to conserve between 1.16 and 2.32 million acre-feet every year. Like I said, the proposal is a good start, but we have much more work to do.
Not only are the proposed cuts too small, but they are also voluntary. There is no law accompanying this proposal that would require the water agencies to follow through with conserving 400,000 acre-feet. And there are more strings attached. The water agencies also require funding from the federal government before this proposal is enacted. In addition to federal funding, these water districts also require the federal government to commit to stabilizing the ever-shrinking Salton Sea. It seems to me that California is not serious about saving the Colorado River or the Lake Mead and Lake Powell reservoirs. Just a few weeks ago, the other lower basin states offered to conserve approximately 2 million acre-feet of water per year. That plan, however, was rejected by California. As always, thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel. I really value your support.